Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2022. This is going to be a new series here on the channel, but it won't be any normal Farming Simulator Let's Play. I will be playing it as realistic as I can, but not only that, my challenge will be to be farming organic. So all farming we do, everything from crops to animals will be done organic, which for example gives us the challenge of not being able to use stuff like herbicide, I hope I said that right, or the usual fertilizers that you're used to. We will have to use alternatives that are good for us and the environment, but I'll get more into things as we go along. For now, let us get in and buy our farm. As I said, I will be doing it as realistic as possible, so we will be using the hard difficulty right here. And we will be choosing the map of Elmcrack right here. Hopefully I pronounced that right. We shall continue and start the game. Now I should as well say that I'm not a farmer, so if I get something wrong, pronounce something wrong or anything like that, do please correct me down below in the comments. But that being said, I do actually have some knowledge because I have been, I have cultivated before, I have driven a, tra a tractor, so I do, I, do, I, I, I do know some basic stuff. But either way, if I say or do something wrong, please do let me know down below in the comments. All right, here we go. Oh, character, character, character customization. Yeah, I'll skip through this and I'll be back when I'm done because I'm probably gonna spend way too much time with this. All right, so here's our character. Um, yeah, we can always change the appearance, but I really like this. So we'll be confirming this bad boy. Now, before we actually go ahead and buy our farm and all that stuff, I will be going into the settings real quick. And I just want to change a few things. So the time scale, I want to keep it to about 10 or 15, maybe five if we're really, really busy. Um, and other than that, I don't think I've got to change anything else other than the seasonal growth will be enabled. Days per month will be one to begin with, and then we will increase it as we get more jobs, because otherwise we're just going to be skipping days anyway. Crop destruction on, all of this stuff is going to be left on, and all of these for the AI worker will be turned off so we don't waste money. And I believe that is pretty much it. So here we are. So we spawn right here. This is in fact the farmyard that we will be buying. So let's take a look at our situation. We're in August. We have half a million euros in the bank. And that is not a whole lot because if we go up here to the map and we go to farmland, this bit right here is going to cost us 156,000 euros alone. But the cool thing, one of the reasons why I really like, the, like this map is because when we buy this, we're going to get field 44, 45, and 46. So we're going to buy this right off the bat, right now. And so this is now ours. And we already have some crop in this. In fact, we have some potatoes. Huh. That could be better. Um, <laughs> that's not going to be easy. Uh, so we have potatoes in this field. They're still growing. I believe it was 50%. And over here we have oats ready to harvest. It has been fertilized as well. We'll take a look at some of those in a bit. And then we have field 46 right over here, which looks to be ready to harvest as well. Kind of looks like... What, what is this? Wheat. Wheat, ready to harvest the deed. All right. If we take a look at the map here and we go to uh, growth, nope, soil composition, and we take these off. So fertilized. So field 45 has been fertilized once and 44 has been fertilized twice. So the farmer that owned this previously have been using manure or something like that to fertilize the field, which is awesome. We like that. That is going to increase our yield right here. So 45 and 44 needs lime as well, which we will be getting to. Wheat are turned on, so we need to deal with that in 46 and 44. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff and both all three fields need to be uh, plowed. But anyway, so this is our farm. So the first thing that I actually want to do is check the used machinery. That's not it. I want to check the, uh, the used machinery market because we might have some good stuff. Ooh. Ooh, yes, indeed, we do. <laughs> we do indeed. Uh, we need a tractor, and this tractor right here... Wow, th this couldn't be... This pretty much couldn't be any better. So, this tractor right here, if we go into it, there we go. Uh, 125 horsepower, that is excellent for our starter farm right now. Uh, we could upgrade the engine for more money, but we need to be very careful with our money. We don't need more horsepower at the moment, I don't think. Um, yeah, so this, we'll be buying this right off the bat. I was hoping we would get something like this. 
Um, I don't think I'm gonna change the wheel size. Let's see what we got. Uh, hmm. I think I like the standard stuff, actually. Wow, okay. <laughs> I think I want the, the standard stuff. Uh, I don't think we will be attaching a front loader just yet. We will be taking a look at that later. Oh, and license plate. Oh, yeah, we can set custom license plates. Uh, I won't be worrying about that right now, though. We'll be buying this right now. 36,000. Yes, it's more than 50% off, so we will definitely get that. What is this? A forestry mulcher, headers. Yeah, we don't need any of this stuff. At least not yet. So we have a tractor, which is awesome. One of the things we will need is going to be a harvester, of course. So a combine. So that will be a combine, and this is actually not too bad. Um, I was thinking of leasing it, but I think we will be able to manage to buy this new. What we will need as well, though, are headers. So this header right here should be able to deal with all of the crops that we have in the farm. So that would be 25,000 together with 75. So that would be 100,000. We can manage that because we do need a harvester. So that is one of the things that we will be needing. So we'll fetch that as well as the header. Just like so. All right. We will be needing a trailer as the next thing as well. So this thing, yeah, this can hold a lot more for only a couple thousand euros extra. So I don't think we will be using the extension. We don't need that at the moment. Though we can add it in the future to pretty much double how much we can have it here. But for now, this will be fine. We do need to save money. So... We could be a little bit more creative with the wheels, I suppose. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Uh, and that we will buy as well. Uh, leasing will be good for some things, but not everything. So, let us, just this once, I'm going to tap over to the store. Which, if we take a look at the map... Now, one thing is, I will be using workers sometimes, but I'm going to try and not do it because we will be needing to take care of our money. All right, so let's start off with equipping our trailer. And yes, I am using a steering wheel. Got to get the immersion right. So we'll attach the trailer. We'll move all of this stuff over to our farm. So let's go in our new Holland tractor, which is actually amazing that we actually was able to get this on the sale. That is pretty, pretty amazing right there. I think I will be spending the majority of the time inside the vehicle because that is going to be the most realistic. All right, here we go. Turning in to our land. So yeah, we will have to harvest these two fields right here. This one with wheat and the other one with oats. And depending on the price, we might be selling it right off the bat. Now, we still have a lot of money left, and that is because we still need stuff like a plow, a cultivator, and stuff like that. And I think I will be parking the tractor right here to begin with. All right. Turn off the engine, and I will switch over to the combine harvester. There we go. I'm really happy that we're able to afford this, actually. <laughs> Having the new Holland is amazing this early on, because, yeah. Otherwise, how much how much would we have had to pay for a new tractor? Say if we had to buy it new. Yeah, that's 100,000. We got it with, was it 64% off? So that is not bad at all. We We bought this right here. But just 36,000 euros. That is not a bad deal at all. So we'll bring this combine over. No incoming traffic. Twenty-two kilometers per hour. Wow. I will, by the way, be playing with the gearbox in automatic because it's just going to be easier for me. <laughs> I already have to manage the steering wheel, pedals, and a mouse, and a keyboard, and a microphone. Uh, yeah. 
I might switch it on later to try it out, but for now, it's gonna be automatic. Now the potatoes, I'm not very happy about the potatoes, because... Yeah, that's gonna be... I'm gonna take the other field first, I think, so I'll drive over there. Yeah, the potatoes will have to lease a harvester in order to get that, and... I'm not very happy about that. At least the field is fertilized, so our yield is a little bit better than what it would have been. So if we go into categories, potatoes. So this is the cedar, and this is the harvester. <laughs> right. How much would it be to lease this? 10,000 euros. It could be worse. I will admit it could be worse. If we look at the pricing, uh, we're in August, so prices for potatoes are lowest right now. In January time-ish, we might be able to get a okay, good, decent price. Plus, this field has been fertilized once already, so that's good. Now, another tool that is clear that we need is a plow and also a way of spreading lime. So, let's take a look at those really quickly. A plow should be easy enough to get. I'm not really concerned about that. What I'm concerned about is the lime. I believe it is in the fertilized spreader category. Yep, right here. This is what we would need in order to spread it. Now, we wouldn't need to do it very often, so leasing it is probably going to be the best thing for us when we get to that point. And one thing we will need to do, because we have, a, we have we will need to battle weeds differently here. We wouldn't, we won't be able to use, I believe it's called herbicide. Hold on, let me make sure. Herbicide, yeah. We won't be able to use this because we're doing organic farming. So a weeder is going to be a thing that we need. And this is actually not a bad price. Six meter, six meter working width. And it goes up with 40,000 in, um, in price. I'm not going to worry about it too much though. At this point in time, because these two fields will be harvested, and then once they're harvested, we will cultivate it, and then the weeds will be gone down in the ground. So, we'll buy it when we need it. That is going to be my policy, as well as with the plow and everything. So, let's turn on our harvester here. And now, we have two possibilities here. I think because this is... Yeah, this is the oat. I don't think that we can get straw, but what I'm thinking is if we can get straw, it would be beneficial to make bales because, at least that's my, my thoughts process, because we need as much money as we can get. So if we go into balers, we can get a baler okay cheap if we rent it. Question is, what is the price for selling it? If I find bales in here, I guess it would be straw, hay, or grass. And I assume this is per thousand liters, maybe? I don't know. Let's just try. Uh, straw swath is enabled, so we shall see what happens. Our first harvesting begins now. Oh, yes. And I'm already off. <laughs> Any bits that I miss, I will go ahead and grab later. But yeah, this header is quite uh, quite small, unfortunately. Well, the tricky part is going to be turning around at the end here. Because we do not have that much space to maneuver in. But we should be alright. All right, looking good. Now, thankfully, our two fields are not too big. And I can see the dead zone on my wheel is a little bit off. So I'll fix that. But our, yeah, our fields are not too big, which means it shouldn't take us too long to harvest these. We're already 7% full, so we might not even get a full trailer load, but that's all right. All right, I fixed my dead zone issue, I think. So we should be good. I should be able to control this a little bit more precisely. So I'll go ahead and do this. I don't know how much I should time lapse because yeah, I don't want it to just be time lapses. I just I want the experience to be there as well, if that makes sense. So I'll probably do a bit of this on camera and then maybe we'll do the other field 
as a time lapse. I will do time lapses in, I think, third person. I think that makes sense. To get the outside view of what is happening. I should have probably gone the other way. It would have been less turning around, wouldn't it? We'll learn as we go. Gotta get used to this. But it looks like we're almost halfway done with the field as well. I just noticed there's a small metal bridge over there. That's interesting. Getting a little bit of a different perspective on things. It is certainly easier to not miss bits when you're in this view mode. <laughs> but I don't think it would be very realistic to see it from this view, unless you have drones that then kind of follow the harvester and then you are looking at a screen inside the harvester. I guess that would be a thing, but I don't think that's what is happening today. But yeah, I'll quickly finish off this field. We're almost done. We'll tip it in the trailer and yeah, this field will be finished. I don't know what the price is currently for oats. Or for wheat for that matter. So we'll take a look at that to see if we need to sell it right off the bat. We might, but I don't think we will if the price is bad. Because we already have 189,000. So we are okay. We're not super desperate for money at this stage. Will I be able to get this final piece in one take? If I don't mess it up... I think I might be able to. Actually not. <laughs> I can see that right now. Oh wait, maybe I can? I can! That is satisfying. Alright, I'll get those final pieces and then we'll offload into the trailer. And... finished. 31% so we have 1500 liters. So that was not a whole lot. I mean the field is quite small. But... That is just what it is. I don't know, can I fit next to the trailer? Yeah, I think I can. Actually, nope, we'll move the trailer. We shall move the trailer. I do not want to hit the potato crops. And we're offloading. Our very first harvest with a crop that we haven't sowed ourselves yet. So, but that's fine. And there we go. Sweet. Now, what is the price for oats at the moment? Oat. Uh, price fluctuation. So we're in August, I believe. So the price is at its worst. So like I said, we're not desperate right now. So we'll just put it in our storage silo, which I believe is going to be over here somewhere. At least I assumed we had a silo. But we may not. I thought this would be our seed silo, but... It appears not. Oof. We would have to... <laughs> we would have to buy a silo. That's not gonna happen, I don't think. I guess we just have to sell it then. The best place is Gold Crest Valley. I shall tag the place. How far away is it? Oh wow, wait, is that on the train? Yeah, that's on the train. Oh wait, hold on, there's a way better price. The grain mill. I mean, we'll definitely be using that then. It is quite a long drive, but we should be able to do it. So, better get going. Here we are, right over there. I 
I'm not expecting very much from this at all. But we shall see. 1,565 liters. Yep, 1,000 pounds. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I didn't expect much. How much would it be to rent a baler? If we wanted to lease it. 2,448. I don't think it is worth it. I might be wrong. Please do let me know if I am. But I just don't think it will be worth it. When I saw Hay go for... I think it was like 50 euros per... Well, it didn't say how much, but I, I assume... Per thousand liters. So, yeah. I don't think we'll be doing that. And we are back at the farm. Alright, so we'll have a other field. I think I will be disabling the straw swath. Because I think we will get a little bit of a bonus yield for the next harvest. When we... What's it called? Spread it instead of putting it in a swath. So we will be doing that. I mean, to be fair, these fields are quite small. We might even... Hold up. I just thought of something. Near our farm, there are a few other fields like this one. That would be 140,000 euros. This would be 60, though. This would be something we could buy. Because we could benefit from having more land. Hmm. I'll think about it. Disable straw swath. And we're off. Awesome. I'll be time-lapsing this and I'll see you when the field is done. All right, almost done. We have over 3,000 liters of wheat, which is awesome. What we might do in the future once the potatoes are harvested, we might go ahead and just join these two fields together to get a bigger field. I don't know yet. We shall see. I also struggled a little bit turning around over here. Not that much space to turn around in without crushing the potato plants. But anyway, that is the harvest complete. Now, what we need to do is make a little bit of a plan for what we're going to sow because we're in August, we might be able to put something down in the ground uh, to grow during the winter, we will see. But anyway, waiting for the ogre to go out. Perfect. Now this we don't have to sell right off the bat, because I won't be needing the trailer right now for anything else. So we could just store the trailer under a roof and we should be fine until the price is better. Let's take a look, in fact, at some prices. Uh, so wheat. Yeah, that's not too great. Again, we're in August. It is at the lowest. Would be better to sell it in January. So that is what we will do. Oh, I'm in the trailer. Oh, fun. What sheds do we actually own? We own that one. So I guess I'll... Huh. I guess I'll try and back it into that. <laughs> That's not gonna be easy. Alright. There we go. The trailer has been stored. So if we look here, we could put in canola and then we would be able to harvest it over here. But what I am thinking is oral seed radish and we can actually sow that now and the reason why i am thinking oral seed radish is if we grow it now and then cultivate it at its first growth stage that will act as one uh, fertilizer application to the field which is something that we really really need so oral seed radish 
because we can put that in pretty much in this month, September and October. So we are good there. What we just need to do is improve the fields or work on the fields until then. Now potatoes are in harvest season, but they are not quite ready. So they might be ready next month then. All right, this is interesting. This field right here doesn't have anything in it. The best thing to do when buying a new field is to get something that already has a crop in, kind of like we did here where we can actually sell the current crop. Field 47 is at a value of 65,000. That's not bad. What crops in it? Corn. That is something to consider. This field over here growing. So it's not fully ready to harvest. Hmm. This field is enticing. I will say that because this field is very close and it already has a crop in. So we would make some of those 65,000 back. So I would need to lease a corn header, but that's not too big of a deal. Yeah, I'm buying it. I'm buying that field. We, it's pretty cheap compared to the money that we have and the size of it. So yeah, we bought it. We have bought field 47. Now it has zero fertilization and also zero weeds, which is excellent. So we will be working in that field as soon as it is ready to uh, harvest. But as you can see, we need to plow these two fields right here and they also need slime. So that is something that we will be doing in the next episode. I think this is a pretty good progress in the next episode. We will plow these two fields right here and we will put in, well, can a normal, my question is, can a normal cedar, it can. So a normal cedar can put in oral seed radish. So that's what we will do next time. We'll plow up this field and we'll plow up that field over there. And then we will put in oil seed radish, which will then act as fertilizer stage one for our next crop. So guys, really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like. If you're new, consider subscribing. And yeah, hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. And what is the weather forecast? Very cloudy, I can tell. Hmm, anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day, goodbye.